Welcome back, car nuts. So the manual on the 4C says that you have to remove the belly pan in order to change the oil on the car. But that's not necessarily the case because you can reach the oil filter from the rear passenger wheel well. But how do you get the oil out of the car, you ask? With a top sider. All right, so the first thing we need to do is pull out the dipstick. We just set this aside in a safe place. Next, we're going to take our top sider tube and feed that down through the dipstick tube. You want to make sure that you hit the bottom, but don't have the end all kinked up. Now make sure this little plastic tube is clamped shut, and then you can start pumping down your top sider. And I say down because it's a vacuum. Once you've drawn a good vacuum, then you can release this and watch the oil flow. Black gold. And then you just let it keep sucking until you hear it gurgling. One eternity later. Well, I hear gurgling. Trying to get every last little drop. Alright, so now we can extract this. And put our dipstick back. Now let's get under there and take that filter off. Now get your wrench on your filter. Ever so gracefully. Now oil is going to come out of here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of towels underneath here. I'll probably continue getting this off off camera. You guys know how an oil filter comes off, right? The new Mobile One oil filter is installed, so now let's get back up topside and fill her up. So Pinsel Premium is the recommended oil for this car. But honestly, I think it's overpriced and overhyped. So what I'm gonna put in instead is Redline. Now I encourage you to go on to Bob is the Oil Guy and read all about all the different oils. And don't just take my word for it, but Redline is good stuff. <laughs> and what's even better is that it's only $2 more a bottle than that Ferrari oil that is recommended. Can't beat that. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.